During this last year of my mandate, there have been signs of a thaw in international relations. The tensions of the Cold War have receded, and the word detente is more frequently heard in our debates. There are even indications that governments, in particular the governments of the most powerful nations, might perhaps abandon their divisive attitudes and work together on common endeavors for the benefit of all mankind. There are so many urgent tasks which await this development. Is it possible that at long last the arms race between nations will be halted? Is it possible at long last that by working together towards the solution of their common concerns, people will be united in trust and friendship? I believe so. I hope so. I pray that it may be so. It is the duty of all men and women of goodwill throughout the world to cherish, nurture, and support our embryonic community of nations. If international society succeeds in moving from adolescence to maturity, the moment may be near when all nations will indeed join in a massive effort to preserve, develop, and embellish our planet. I wish to take this opportunity to express my personal gratitude to all of the concerned individuals throughout the world who have worked so hard in support of the United Nations. Your moral support and your many practical contributions have been a constant source of encouragement to me during the past 10 years.